Hello, hello out there in Guitar Land. It's Jeff from Jeffrey-Thomas.com, and I'm going to go ahead and preview up page one for my guitar tab for the Warrior theme. And so make sure that you're following or requesting this off the website, and I'll send it to you. I'm on page one so far, and this is for the season one opener. So a little bit slower than tempo, a lot of details. One, two. super hip. The guitar tones on this are amazing. Um, and there's some pretty, very cool um, time meter changes. We're staying in simple meter, but I mean, they're going from 2-4 to 4-4, four, four, right, to 5. Just brilliant. Brilliant writing. So um, I'm combining a lot of the guitar parts, so it's kind of hard to get some of the skips here and, you know... Make sure I get that whammy bar swell in there for you. Um, it's very, very subtle on the recording. It's there, but it's like just like a quarter step where they're tweaking the chords. Um, but anyway, a lot of 16th notes. Um, don't know how much I want to go into like counting every one of those 16th notes. You're just going to have to have your game on with uh, reading. Um, where does it get interesting? Um, the first, right off the bat actually, the first melody I think is played here on a nylon string. That part is played in first position. Then as it goes into the uh, second measure third line, I think they pick up here. Um, because the guitar takes on a little bit meatier of a tone there. So I think they're up in fifth position for that pentatonic melody basically, A minor pentatonic, right? And then we hit this little sequencing thing, uh, second measure of the third line, where we switch to 2-4. So um, some of my students are having problems with the rolling there. You kind of want to set up the seventh fret to where you're already ready to just roll over for that other seven, and then do the same thing here on the fifth. You don't want to pick your finger up. You don't want to pick your finger up because you're going to get noise when you do that. So it's like... All downstrokes too in the pick, by the way. Um, then we drop down to the G chord. First chord in the tune for the most part. Just barely with that bar. And then... We have ending one, which is, we're back into 4-4 four, four now, so. Okay. And then you're back up to the measure of 2-4. Spell through that G chord. And then you're going to take ending two, which starts with the measure of 2-4. This was a tricky part to count. Then we hit a measure of five. First measure of the fifth line is in five. One E and two E and three E and four E and a five and yeah. Trust me, I was scratching my head here for for a while, 
figuring out what the hell they did. It's brilliant. Just freaking brilliant, you know what I mean? Like, having a tune that's running along in four, two, three, da na 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 and then hitting these measures of two, and then five, with almost, like, not even being noticeable. It's just brilliant. And I'm telling my students all the time, who are, you know, writing, they're, they're writing tunes, they're composing, and I'm totally supporting that 100%, but I'm telling them this one very important lesson to learn. It's not just about the chords, it's not just about the melody, it's about the meter. Just as much as it is about the chords and the melody, etc., the key, the tonality, the mode, whatever, you know, is happening, it is just as much about the meter. And I find that a lot of times when things are interesting, when they have something interesting about them that makes you just kind of like catch in your ear, it's, it can also be a meter thing that you might not be aware of until you go to put it on paper, like I did with this thing. So anyway, there's my speech. So we're on the measure of five. One E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, a five and, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then I tried to mix in this cool part. So these triads starting with A minor, I'm doing the pick and then I'm popping the other three string, two strings with my uh, middle and my ring finger. So one and two and three and four and G. Two and D minor over F. And you can only, cr you can only get that until the fourth beat there. So it's gonna be three and four and then you've gotta be back into the melody. And first finger wins because it's already on that string from the chord. And then they do something really cool here in the last measure. Took a while to catch this. So he does a double on the D. So, last measure on the page. It's kind of cool how it goes from the open D to then this fret of D here, right? And then it picks up with the... It's going to continue on with the melody moving into page two. So, um, I, you know, this is just killer. This is great guitar work. It's not super crazy hard, but it's smart. It's smart in how they recorded the guitars. It's smart in how they changed the tones on the guitars in the mix. Um, the guitars that they used. So. I'd really like to learn more about these composers because they seem to have a very good history of, of killer themes and they're guitar heavy. Like they use the guitar, which is, you know, always great for guitar players to hear um, the guitar standing out in a theme, right? So anyway, page one so far, hope that gets you through the page and uh, as usual gives you some things to think about and um, until uh, I get this one finished, just go ahead and request page one and I'll throw it at you. All right, thanks.